Hi everyone, I'm Oscar and I'm in charge of Nexi. I design a lot of blades and I wanted to share some concepts with everyone, so I created a YouTube channel for this. In this channel, I explain my basic process of how I design Nexi blades and rubbers. I'm not a native speaker of English, but I'll do my best. So stay with me on this. In this video, I'll explain how we make blades from different plies of wood. Although there are single ply blades, mostly J-pen blades, but most modern table tennis blades are made with several plies together. So my question is why we use several wood layers for a blade instead of using a very good one ply wood, which is very common for Japanese paneled blades. Okay, I will start now. Here is a picture of a big piece of wood from a tree. You see the big crack here? This is happens because the outside of tree dries faster than the inside. And it cracks like you see in the picture. And when we cut into this piece of wood to get plies, as you see, there is a tendency that cut piece should bend in this way as I draw on this picture to the outside direction. Wood is always prone to bending and cracking while it dries if you cut off a thick single ply. We try to prevent that by cutting thinner pieces and stacking them in the way shown in this picture while we get them to dry. Sometimes we add a little heat to speed things up. Wood plies by themselves are pretty weak. So we stack them in layers to make a multiply blade, often a five ply or seven ply blade. We stack the wood plies with the grains of each ply in opposite directions, goes one this way, goes the other layer from different direction, and glue them together to make the end result much stronger. When we make table tennis blades using this concept, the blade will not easily bend or crack. One exception to this is a single ply Japanese panel of blades. We can make them from one ply and they will not easily crack or bend. But that is only because they are made from trees that have been drying and seasoning for years and years. It is a very expensive it is very expensive to produce this kind of blade, so that is why you pay big money for the good ones. Another big thing with Japanese panel of blade is that we must use only center part of the tree, and because center part of the tree will not bend easily. This makes the blade difficult to bend and gives it the unique grains that go in only one direction. You can check the direction of this blade goes only one direction, not askew like this way. And this is a very good quality one. Okay, let's move to another topic. This is called Yunamgyu Gold Limited Edition. Actually, Yunamgyu was the first a gold medalist for the Olympic in 88 for the man single. And then next he has a contract with Yunnan Gyo. Most blades are either five ply or seven ply blades. They all have a center layer that we call a core layer, three or three, two or three middle layers and an outer layer. Here, I'll show a three-ply concept. There are very few three-ply blades because one outer layer has more possibility to bend and split off than two layers glued in the crossway. But I can show the concept of the what the concept of what core and outer plies do with this picture. The core layer affects the speed of the blade. Use only heavier wood and thicker wood for the core make the blade faster. However, some players do not want a heavy blade, so we find ways to make it lighter 
but still fast enough. If we make it too light, it is easy to swing fast, but the blade is less powerful. There are always trade-offs. At the end of the day, when we do our design and testing of each blade, we have to strike a balance of the, these factors to get what we want. The core also has a great deal to do with how the blade feels. I mean the general feeling of the whole blade. The outer layer of the wood has more to do with how we feel the, uh, feel the ball at impact. Also, the outer layer has a lot to do with how much spin you can make. But I will discuss this some more later in my next videos. You have to understand a few things about wood grain. With trees, you get a new ring each year with the seasons as the tree is as the tree grows because there is a gap for a tree's growth rate between summer and winter season. In summer it grows a larger amount and winter season grows a very small amount and that makes these lines. But we have some area where the climate is warm all through the year and the trees grown in that area don't have those rings because they don't, they don't have summer and winter exchanging and they don't have a tendency to bend to one direction due to the lines these wood are normally suitable for a core layer because core layer is one layer and has to keep shape over time without bending so most of the blades core layer uh, you know needs a wood that does not have these lines, these rings. Now I'm going to get into the design of five-ply five ply blades, which are the common ones for shake and blades. When we glue each ply together, we alternate the direction of the wood grain. One ply will have the grains go vertical, the next layer horizontal, then vertical, and so on. So most of the five-ply blade Core layer goes vertical, and second layer goes horizontal, and surface wood goes vertical. When we put plies of wood together like this, we strengthen the blade. It does not bend or crack so easily. We can see each layer has a very specific role. Core layer gives the balance between power and weight, and decide the general feel, as I told in the in the three layer. Uh, picture, middle plies add power. So, uh, by choosing a right material for the second layer, we can add more power on the surface or we can add more spin on the surface. surface. So, second layer helps to make the functional role more, more concrete for the surface layer. Outer ply gives the feeling at the impact and affect the spin generation for the ball. There are so many ways to make a blade and how to glue the plies. At Nexi, we control all these factors in design and testing to achieve the kind of blade we are looking for. I have spent so much time studying these properties so we can make a great feeling and performing blades. I'll share more information about 7-ply blade composition in my next video or so. We can make a blade more powerful by adding a layer of composite material like carbon or control the filling of the blade. For composite layers, there could be two representative functional roles. One is to add more speed and the other one is to control the vibration of the blade. For example, carbon adds speed and arillated fiber reduces the vibration. Recently, we can see a lot of popular blades are using ALC which means the composite layer is woven by carbon fiber and arillate fiber together. Carbon makes the blade faster, but it gives artificial and metallic feeling compared with all wooden blades. So when we add arillate fibers between carbon fibers, we can control the feelings and the vibrations. Arillate 
helps to reduce the vibration and add more soft feeling which helps to give more spin on the ball. You have other plays like other fibers like aramid, kevlar and glass and those fibers also uh, also have the similar function. Take a look at this blade. I designed and released recently the ah uh, no. I'm sorry. Take a look at this blade. Uh, I, re I released this blade recently. The name of this blade is Eucrasia. Just under the first and second layer, you can see a black and white layer. It is ASC. So a black shows carbon layer and white shows uh, arlite layer. So when we put ASC, it adds more power and also controls the extra vibration of the blade that comes from the added carbon. This is very common structure for modern offensive table tennis blade. Here's one more blade using ASC, but this one is not Nexi blade, it is Valuin blade. Valuin is a new brand with different brand concept from Nexi. I'll tell you more about this brand later. And we just released this blade with Valuin brand name, and the name of this blade is Cougar. As you can see, this is also an ASC blade construction. So modern offensive players really like ASC blades and this structure seems to be dominating the market at the moment. Here's one more blade I can show. Maybe you have heard of the name player Jusei Hyuk. And this is the Jusei Hyuk blade you know, sample. And I'll produce it later. All right, everyone. Thanks for hanging in here with my clumsy English. It wasn't perfect, but I hope I got across the main point. This was the first video for this new channel. And if you have any question, write it down in the comment section and I will get to it. Thanks everyone and enjoy table tennis. Thank you.